This video is sponsored by Casetify. Casetify has the largest variety of phone case colors and designs to fit your every mood. There are a ton of amazing prints, or you can personalize a case with your favorite font for a custom version. Casetify's new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials, and something I always appreciate is that their packaging is 100% recyclable. It's made with recycled paper and non-toxic ink made from soybeans. Now your phone is protected with Casetify cases. I have dropped my phone countless times while my phone is wearing one of these puppies. And I have not broken or cracked a phone since. Their G-Tech 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet for the impact, 9.8 feet for the ultra impact, and then their Z-Flip cases are 5 feet, so you can choose the level of protection that you're looking for. And case to buy cases feature an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. Case Device new Android collection is fantastic. You can now get gorgeous cases for phones such as the S22, Z Flip, and Pixel. If you or anyone you know has an Android phone, these make a great gift. Definitely check out the new collection. They're stylish, they're protective, and they're not just for iPhones. Look at this one. It's scratch and sniff stickers. They don't actually smell, but like, you know, the vibe. We have this lovely, lovely cloud one. I personalized yet another L case just to show off the leather option. And this one I think is my favorite design. How cute is that? Oh, I'm obsessed. It just looks really, really aesthetic. I love it. And this one is the newest case that I got for my phone. Let it mesmerize you. So go to casetify.com slash GB to get 15% off your order. I absolutely love Casetify cases. I have adored every one I've used so far. And honestly, I really don't think I will ever buy anything different personally. So whenever you want a change, there are so many refreshed designs to pick from. Enjoy browsing through their site. I always love seeing their accessories as well. Go to casetify.com slash GV to get 15% off your order. Thank you so much, Casetify, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for watching. This is just a reminder that the GB merch pre-order closes on June 17th. Once the pre-order closes, these items are done. So I just wanted to Hello everybody, it's GB, and welcome back to part 6 of Ultra Rare and Specific ASMR. I started this series, gosh, when was the first one? Okay, I wanted to see how many I've done. I think this was the first one a year ago, November 28th, 2020, and... I've kept this series going because there is no limit to rare and specific triggers and the reason I do these is so that those of you who do comment and you're just like looking for that one sound or visual or something that you either saw in one video and never saw again or experienced in real life and I've never seen in a video or none of the above, you know, it's just never been done and I want to make them happen for you. So, I hope somebody's specific trigger was airplanes, because you'll hear a lot of those. It's just one of those days. One of those days. So I picked six today to shoot, and I have another six that I need to gather some props for, and we'll hopefully shoot that maybe next month. Um, I'm not sure when, but I already have the idea, so your idea didn't get in this time, there's a possibility that it will get into the next video, so make sure to catch the next video as well. And I wanted to start with this one. 
tapping on a soda can while it's being held up by the tab. It's got a super cool echo sound when there's just the right amount of liquid in it. I don't know what the right amount of liquid is, so we're gonna have to find out. I guess. I have two cans. One, the classic. You say soda can? Is this what pops into your head? Because same. And then I have this one, which I'm kind of excited to try. This is Ben Got. Uh, he got caught by their Instagram ads, I think, I want to say. And he's like, this looks really good. So he ordered it, and I have been obsessed. Not sponsored. But hit me up, because this kind of makes sense, you know? Calming tea, ASMR, you know? I know we got G fuel for the mornings, maybe hop tea for the night, you know what I mean? So this is sparkling hop tea. Basically, it tastes like... It has hops in it, so you are getting a reminiscent taste of beer, but there's no alcohol in it at all. Caffeine-free, it's carbonated water, chamomile flowers, and citra hops. So I really like it. This. They have different flavors. You can see this one is, come on, the least amount of hops. So you can get it more hoppy. So I, I'm interested to try their other flavors as well. But very nice to have at night if you're like, oh, I just want like a beer, but I don't really want like a real beer because like, you know, boom. All right, I wanted to do it because it has matte label and I'm a- I love matte don't tell Ben, just kidding, <laughs> get it? um, I love matte texture for ASMR this one's a little bigger though, so I don't know how that's gonna affect things alright, let's pop it open no way, this is gonna be not loud enough And my voice is a little bit hoarse today. I'm very sorry. Although, I know some of you like that, so enjoy. Uh, uh, if I tried to hold this up by the tab now, I think it would be too heavy, so I got a glass. I'm just gonna And we can always pour more out. Okay. I'm really scared. The tab is just gonna fall off. Okay. Oh, oh no, we're good. We're good. That's steady. Right, there is an echo effect. This is not my style of sound. Like, I feel like it's too harsh. However, this is your ultra rare and specific request, so I will continue to do it.
39 grams of sugar. 39. sound fingernails it seems like the matte covering is providing some very interesting sound insulation up here it's kind of different
this is appropriate because I think our next trigger has to do with stickers. Oh no, I might do that a little later. Focus on what's important, camera. Look. A hidden bird. There might be more, but I can't get this distracted. You know, we gotta go. Alright, well. The matte covering did indeed affect the sound, so. Coke can wins for this specific trigger, I would say. you enjoyed. Okay, next up. Going from soft speaking to super close-up whispering in the same sentence. You know, with the binaural mic and gain turned up higher than normal. Gives me the best tingles, but I never see anyone do this besides A.S. Matt R. Shout out to A.S. Matt R. Check out his channel if you haven't. He is a genius and a visionary. Um... And if you haven't seen his channel, I would really, really highly recommend it. I typically don't speak, um, I typically don't switch between soft speaking and whispering because I don't know why, actually. I usually commit to one, and once I commit to it, then I stick with it, and that is the tone for the rest of the video. And especially if I'm doing close-up whispering. I would typically do an entire video of just close-up whispering because I think it is a little bit divisive between people like some people really like it and some people are not too big of a fan of it I... it depends, I like it sometimes and sometimes it's just like too much in my ears and I'm like, Ew. perhaps not right now but a lot of the times it is very very Maybe I would, I don't know, maybe I would like an entire story being told in a close-up whisper. I guess I should pay attention a little more when I'm watching things. Usually I like accidentally stumble on whisper videos. I won't actually like choose it myself. on my channel. I like to just do a variety to kind of make sure I cover all my bases. Um, and even with like whispering or soft speaking, I will try to do different videos where I soft speak and whisper in different ways. Like this is a very different whisper than some of my videos. Like I will do a whisper video. And with the soft speaking, again, right now, I've been having trouble with my voice a lot. I don't know if you have noticed it or anything in my videos. I've been very frustrated with my voice. Um, I don't know if it's like new medication that I'm on, uh, but my, I feel like my throat just like, it doesn't feel dry, but when I'm speaking, I'm like, ma'am, you know, where's the hydration? Where's the hydration in these vocal cords? Um, I've found it like very hard to get rid of my vocal fry. Or if I'm speaking, sometimes like literally the sound won't come out and I will be forced into a whisper, you know? Like that right there, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. And um, yeah, I don't know. When I do really close up whispering, it actually is kind of hard. So, 
when I do one of those videos. Typically, they're a lot shorter, and you'll notice some cuts because I'll be like doing my thing. and take like a big breath back here and like, okay. And then dive back into the close up whisper. You know that I'm not just like heavily breathing throughout the entire video, but you know, that's just me. Um, I think some people like it, but I do, I am, I do try to be conscious uh, of my breathing. And when I'm not conscious of my breathing, I notice it and I hate it. But I don't really see other people complain about it. So maybe it's one of those things where you're just super picky about like your own videos but you don't really realize someone else doing it oh my gosh there's actually one video that I was enjoying so much and I won't like I won't name names because I'm not trying to be mean but I really because I really was enjoying the video and the like their voice was really good uh, their cadence was really good but they sniffed really loudly multiple times like like a big honk and like like sniff and i was like oh my god <laughs> i cannot i cannot watch this i i actually i cannot be <laughs> harassed by this loud sniff one more time and um that's just a little a, a humble request as an asmr viewer if uh you do loudly sniff your videos to perhaps cut that part out um it would be well worth the time i think personally and again this is coming out an asmr viewer because i do indeed watch asmr daily nightly etc 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 i can't open it i that was a reason why everybody oh and that's the worst right one more little rant as an excuse to do my little is when ASMR content creators comment on other ASMR videos, sometimes you will get people who think that you are like clout chasing or trying to, I don't even know, like, I don't know what they think you're trying to do, but they think that you have like some sort of malicious reason for being there or like your ego or um, I've commented on somebody's videos, but somebody's video before, and people were in the comments. Not many, not many, but like, it happens all the time, and I see it happen to other people. If creators comment on my videos, all the time, people say like, you like, you think that you're so, like, you think you're so hot, like you think you're like, you could just come on in here, da 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 da, da and, like, you're just like showing off. As if I am not a real person that enjoys watching ASMR, and this is my YouTube channel, and this is where I'm logged into when I watch videos. So, I just think it's silly because I think high majority there will always be people who maybe they are clout chasing, maybe they are, maybe they do have like nefarious intent, but I would say heavily for the most part, and especially for people who like content has been around for a while it's like we all like asmr we all watch asmr and listen to asmr and everybody i think for the most part everyone i've met has listened to and enjoyed asmr before they started their channel so they're already fans you know like, Maddie Tingles was a patron of mine before he started his channel, that kind of thing. Um, so the community is very, like, real, you know? There might be people with different, um, opinions and views and things like that, just on, like, what they enjoy or who they watch and, and stuff, but... And I'm sure there's people that are just here for, uh, just, like, the popularity of ASMR, and it's very, like accessible to make on your own so like maybe they're just like i don't really care about asmr but i just want to make a successful channel of anything sure like it's uh, definitely a possibility but for the most part if you see asmr creators commenting on other videos it's because they're actually enjoying it 
Um, and I just, uh, yeah. it's not a big deal. It's just something funny that I noticed and I needed something to talk about during this portion. So there we go. <laughs> Next up, I really like the sound of tapping on popsicle sticks and I would really like you to maybe do that one. Thank you so much either way. I love you. I would love to do that for you. I have two, count them, two popsicle sticks. I'll shut up a little bit more for this one because I've been talking a lot.
I think I could do a whole video in just that. Just popsicle sticks. That was lovely. Thank you for the suggestion. I love wood sounds, and um, I would like never just like grab these as like a random trigger, so that's why I love these videos. Okay. This next one I'm excited to try because I had an interesting idea for it and I want to see if it'll work. I just love when someone types directly on the camera like I was a phone or tablet or something. It's one of the few visual triggers that gives me tingles. So I'm going to try it three ways. Uh, a couple different ways, maybe even more than three. But I'm going to type on your face with no sound and then I'm going to try phone keyboard and regular QWERTY keyboard on your face as well. So I'm very excited to see if I can pull this off. Usually with uh, like the invisible triggers, I've said it before, like how you do it is if you had the popsicle stick or whatnot. Here, other hand. like that. But for this, since I'm using both of my hands to type, I will actually have to fully it. So let's see if it is if I can pull it off. Actual editing, let's see. Here we go. All right. Now, we just want to do and enter And then I'll unlock the keyboard. And, uh, type a little message here. And this one isn't out tomorrow. Do the emails below. good. And, uh, password. Hmm. What's my password? I One, two, three. A-S-M-R. Tingles, but the I has. It's one D one M G L E S. Hmm. Forget those capitals. All right, so um, let's see if I get my phone settings here. Okay, just a little short message to get us started. Okay, and, uh, let's try one. for the QWERTY keyboard settings, I think that's just one, two, swipe. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Enter. Okay. I feel like that was really it is so hard to accurately type on a face. 
and there's nothing there to like put your fingers against but doing it with no foley sound is actually pretty easy I can just type away you know type in the declaration of independence right stickers off and placing them on skin or other surfaces and tracing the stickers as well. I love this idea because I have so many stickers. I love stickers. And you kind of just accumulate them, you know? I buy a lot of art and merch and things and a lot of that tends to come with stickers. So I grabbed a couple that I'm good with, like, you know, actually peeling off and using. Um, and we'll trace around them. Here's one. And my friend, my friend sent me a bunch of these when the ASMR B movie was about to premiere. She sent me a ton of B stickers. This one says, Home Sweet Home on it. Home Sweet Home. This off. I should do like a sticker collection video, but I feel like nobody would watch it. They'd be like, GB. after this since this is going to make my face red. I'm positive, but oh well. We'll put it on gently. Okay. So here we have the little Teddy Fresh angel bear. And I'll have to look at the viewfinder, forgive me. I think it says DF. DF. Two wings. Fantastic. And I have this awesome sticker set that came with a book that I bought at the bottom here. You can see the artist, Santa Mosley. And there's a whole book on folklore, animals and drawings. Anna Mosley is actually also a tattoo artist. Um, mostly draws yes, social media if you want to go there and I think we'll put on this I don't know the lore behind these ones in particular I want to say this is a cat it looks like a lynx almost because of the dark ears I think this one will fit on my face some sort of cat links with the red moon or sun or anything in the background. Some plants here. Very beautiful drawings. I love them. And the 
book turned out great, too. Oh, someone's weed whacking. I don't think that was a requested trigger. Oh, someone's not weed whacking. There's a giant fly in my room. Hmm. Considering I thought it was a weed whacker, I'm a little afraid for the size of this fly. What is that? No, that's a clip. That's a clip. I thought there was like a huge bug back there, but okay. We will wait. Hopefully the fly will rest while we film the rest of this. We've got a little Amori sticker. Amori, 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 Amori. If you haven't played Amori, here's your sign. This is Omori. He's the main character of Omori. He's got a little knife here. That's his weapon. And it's fantastic. Tiny, tiny little Omori. Then we have this sticker from Colette Bernard. I follow on TikTok and I believe now as a YouTube channel. Yes. And it says, it's still art, even if you don't like it. Which is a great message and reminder for a lot of people. Myself included. Uh, not everything and everyone is here. and serve you and your opinion or your experience and sometimes art is actually made for you to not like it you know, not everything is supposed to be feel good and perfect so beautiful frame with a grassy blue sky depiction there and then the words on the sticker say it's still art even if you don't like it in gold very shimmery sticker put it on my sweatshirt there there we go I have other stickers as well but I don't think they're going to fit I have this one from my very First tattoo artist I ever went to, Daniel Sky. This awesome snake. And I have a Trish sticker. I can't remember where I got these. I'm so sorry. I love when artists put like their handle on things. I feel like I got these from oh my gosh, where though? Trish. From JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Etsy is a good guess. And then I also had these from an order I placed from a store called Mopiopi. And they sell super colorful things. Really colorful. They're awesome. Bags. And <laughs> shirts. Tapping on the paper wrappers from bars of soap. So good. And it never gets done for more than three seconds in soap videos. Perfect. Because I I love soap videos, but I I don't have the technical skill to like make it satisfying. But I can crinkle some paper. I do have plastic. I'll spend like ten seconds.
15 here everywhere. Stickers. Stuff. Okay. But you asked for paper. So, I'm not sure if these would sound the same, but I got two. This one is, I found it trying to find like very non-toxic soap. Problem is it's I think you can only really get it online. And it's a lot more expensive than other soaps. I also I wish I like liked using bar soap a little bit more. I'd like to get back into it. Okay, let's take the paper off and crinkle it. It's called Folain, F-O-L-L-A-I-N, Everybody Bar Soap, Rich Bar Raising, Lather with Moisture to Match. I'm going to do it with the bar of soap still inside. This is the Dr. Bronner's all-in-one, oh, all-one, excuse me, hemp, lavender, pure, castile, is that how you say it?
blues. It's really cute. It's purple packaging. I find bars of soap to be incredibly satisfying for some reason. Just very no extra packaging. This is single handed me single handedly going to get me back into using bar soap. So people will be disappointed if I don't like do all like the soap cutting and stuff. But maybe we just, you know, stop at the soap bar. Okay. <laughs> that is it. See, I cut down on number this time and I still filmed for an hour. <laughs> My poor editor. That's why I'm like, okay, I promise. I'll pick less this time. And I ended up just making it long. It's okay. It's fine. But yeah, like I said, I have six more that I already picked. That will be for Ultra Rare 8, which will come out or 7. I think 7. This is number 6. Yeah. Ultra Rare 6, and then I have six more that I'll do for Ultra Rare 7 whenever I can uh, gather the props and uh, film that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your suggestions. And, as always, I'll see you in the next